Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel, Archie Luxury Corporate. Today, guys, it's uh, I've just sold off <clears throat> the majority of my collection, and I think it's about time that uh, I tell you which two pieces I regret selling the most. No, I did not sell my Patek Philippe Grand Classique from. Patek Philippe. No, 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 no. My Patek Philippe is my holy, holy, holier than thou grail piece. No, I would not entertain selling such a piece. It's, um, it's only after you've sold things off. No, the Inji's not sold. No, the Inji's currently for sale. Uh, with Sydney Watch Exchange. Contact Cove, Sydney Watch Exchange. Um, i got to tell you, the, the pieces that I uh, miss the most, you might not think these two were important to me, but these were pieces which, which really meant a hell of a lot to me. Can you guess which two pieces I regret selling? Well, it's the Amiga Speedmaster. Man! the fucking moon and the Brega, the Brega Type 20. The Speedy, I mean, this is just such an honest piece. It looks good on a NATO, on a, uh, a strap, on a bracelet, on a leather strap. It just is such a cool piece. Iconic sports watch. And the Bregster, the Brega, the Type 20. This is the Hort Horology piece at a bargain price. I bought both of these pieces. They were Super Mint Plus. Super Mint Plus. I bought these pieces. I added them to my collection from an early phase. And I got to be honest with you. They're both gone. Both of these pieces have gone. They've gone. I've sold them off. The Amiga Speedmaster. I mean, I loved it on a NATO. I loved it on a bracelet. I just loved it. Just wind and wear. No date to muck around with. Just put the beautiful piece onto a leather NATO. Whatever you want it. And it's all set to go. No date to muck around. No 24 hour setting required. Just adjust the time. Wind and wear. Beautiful. Iconic. It was just absolutely just a, an amazing <coughs> chronograph. One of the best in the business. Uh, the piece I had there was very, very nice. It had the original Amiga glass fitted. It had absolutely everything. It was keeping perfect time. Functions working well. Oh, it's so sad that I've sold my Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I really did love this piece. Just, just, just the classic design. And I got to tell you, these wankers get caught up in in all these new Amiga releases. You know, all these stupid limited editions. But I love the original, the original, the one and only. <clears throat> I love the classic, and it was an amazing bang per buck piece. I mean. You think about it, what is the greatest sports chronograph of all time? The Amiga Speedmaster has to rank there. It is iconic. It is beautifully done. And uh, it's no longer in my collection. I mean, I'm Archie Luxury. I'm famous for the man on the fucking moon. Man on the fucking moon. It's gone. Gonski. It's, it's moved out of my collection, the stable. Uh, very sad day for me. Sad day. You just look at videos of this piece in high def and it just makes you realize, what have I done to clear this beautiful Omega? And <clears throat> it's only when you turn around and look at the other piece I missed, the Breguet, the Type 20. This is Horterology at a budget price that I realized what a fucking idiot I have been. This piece here was Super Mint Plus, fresh out of Japan. Yes, it had a midget bracelet, but I got the links at $190 a piece. I needed six of the fucking links. 
And I, I got to be honest with you, this piece here, the bang per buck on it, absolutely astronomical. We're talking, we're talking Patek, Patek finishing. The coin edging, this piece here was just so well executed. The uh, the numerals, look at the font. The loom had super loom, supernova, super luminova. It was just so well done. And I personally, I hunted down a version with the no date. I didn't want the date and I wanted the bracelet. That's right, a little bit rarer, a little bit more special. I hunted and hunted until I came across this beautiful piece um, and I did everything for it. I got the box of papers. I got the blinks for the bracelet and it's no longer in my life. It's no longer in my life. I mean, it was just a stunner, a steel stunner from Breguet. I mean, this piece here, it's only got upsize. <clears throat> The person who's bought this has got a beautiful piece. This is an amazing bang per buck. It's a Brega. And I mean, I've seen some Brega type 20s a bit ratty, over polished. This was original, absolute stunner. It's a steel stunner, horterology piece. And I got to tell you, I don't know what I'm going to do. I've sold the Brega. This is one of the Biggest mistakes in my watch collecting career. And I mean, it's only when you look at high def resolution video you shot that you realize what an idiot. The flyback chronograph. Oh my God. How am I going to replace this? What brands of watches can I get for the same bang per buck that's going to give me joy? It's going to give me superiority. It's going to make me an international YouTube celebrity far above these other wankers. I mean, there are YouTubers out there who've got who've got brightlings with 7750 movements. I mean, nah, that's nothing. We're talking Brega class and quality. How many YouTube celebrities who do watch videos have a Brega, Brega, Brega? <coughs> It was a French brand that moved to Switzerland. I mean, this is as posh, this is as hoity-toity as it comes. And I've sold it off. I have literally sold it off. It's gone. It's left the stables. So, guys, there you go. Two watches. These are two watches I regret selling. The Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon and the Breguet Type 20. I've, uh, <clears throat> it's gonna, it's gonna take a while for me to get over the loss. But, uh, guys, that's the two pieces I regret selling. Please, guys, like, subscribe, tell your Fuckhead friends, and don't forget, put a few really nasty, hurtful comments down below. We love the nasty comments. And please, guys, please be, be easy on me. I've just made the mistake of my collecting career in life. Archie Luxury. Until next time, ciao, fuckers. <laughs>
going to have a quick shave, then I'm jumping on a jet after lunch, after lunch. I'm only signing it because it costs nothing. <laughs> So this is the congratulations to everybody.